This is a mini review of the Walter PK380. I've seen several reviews on YouTube, especially from you folks in the US or English language reviews, where in your opinion, there were a few minus drawbacks on the PK380. Now I have to say, I bought this PK380 for competition shooting. It's not the most accurate pistol in the world, I know that, but it's dead cheap. It costs about 350 euros here in Germany, and uh, it's a fun shooter, I have to say that. I, I enjoy shooting it, no matter what I hit. If I would go for accuracy, I would have taken something else. Before we start, I want to point out something. Manufacturers like Hector Koch, HK, Walter, came up at some point and put this funny mag release button down here. Um, I don't think it's that terrible, to be honest. I've, I've been using it a bit now on this PK380 and I had a, a, another, I think with an HK on the shooting range a few days ago, a few weeks ago. And I have to say, I, I actually like it. Um, I also had it on a Walter PPQ. And um, one of the main advantages I think is that the possibility of accidentally dropping the magazine while shooting compared to a, a pistol with a classic magazine drop uh, is much lower. So um, it's different, yes. You have to get used to it, yes. But is it a downer? No, I don't think so. It's, it's actually quite easy and it makes it without having to change something on the pistol, the, 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 the manipulation absolutely ambidextrous no matter if i want it if i'm a if i'm a left hander if i'm a right hander it doesn't matter i can use it without having to change the pistol without having to change the button whatever so that's actually on my point of, from my point of view it's actually one up the next issue you folks um marked as a uh, downer is the fact that you need a tool to disassemble I'm not in favor of that, but is it a downer? No. Number one, when out shooting, I don't disassemble my pistol. That's number one, so it doesn't really matter. I disassemble my pistol at home. If I would be in a firefight or a competition, I would have to disassemble my pistol. It's a different issue, but um, I'm not gonna do that during a firefight. So uh, it doesn't really count from in, in my point of view. Considering that there are quite a few different pistols on the market that also need a tool to disassemble. Uh, just want to point out, taking a, a 1911, here my Mark IV Series 70, which has a long guide rod in there. To disassemble it, this pistol, I need a, a screwdriver. Either a uh, straight flathead or I need a, um, a Phillips or a Torx or allen key or whatever but i also need a tool to disassemble a 1911 if i have the long guide rod in there so i don't see that as a big downer because there are several different pistols that have it as well my fn international 2 has it as well i need a, a allen key to remove the barrel so what are we talking about this assembly of the pk380 is is not that complicated okay it's, it's just putting in the tool rotating it 100 30 odd degrees moving down the disassembly latch taking off the slide and you're actually home free it's it's as easy as it is as it gets a pain in the ass yes is the mainspring that i don't know why walter came up with this idiot idea of having this very thin spring in there and not putting a, a, a package in there like they have it on on the modern pistols like glock or or whatever but okay taking in, in account that it's a 350 euro pistol I think that's absolutely okay reassembly is just the same put it back together rotate the key clockwise and that's it so my summary of the PK 380 is it's an absolutely dead cheap pistol. It's a halfway decent quality. It's fun to shoot. Does it have its minus or not so nice issues? Yeah, of course, but you have that on every pistol. So uh, if somebody's out there to getting for, for getting a pistol just to have some plinking fun, hey, it doesn't get much cheaper 
than this and you get good German quality. So in my opinion, I wouldn't give it a two thumbs up, but at least a one thumb up for the PK380. And I love it. It's good fun.